Hello. Good morning, everybody. Goggle Fox. Good morning, Robert. Sorry, we have had, I've had a bit of a mare trying to get in. So sorry about that. I hope you can see us now. That's both of us. Sorry? That's both of us. That's both of us then. I couldn't get in. So I'm sorry. I, I will explain. I was trying to log into Demio. It let me log in but then wouldn't show me anything. And um, yeah, so hey ho, everything is in the other room. I've had to disconnect and fly into this room. So this is as good as it's going to look, I'm afraid. <laughs> Never mind. We're both here, that's the important Exactly, thing. exactly. So sorry about that folks, but uh, let me try and open yeah. those just in front of us. <clears throat> A little bit more light. Ah, then we have a little bit of light. Phew, how are you this morning? I'm okay, just bear with me two seconds. That's all right, that's all right. And a huge good morning to you. I'm so sorry for the delay, but uh, thank you for bearing with us. And uh, here we are. Episode, is it one? I don't know what episode it is actually. 100 and something or other. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we were 120 the other day, so this is 121. I think it's 121, uh, so that's lovely. So anyway, I, I currently have no knitting with me because it's all in the other room. Although I've just found, oh, have I just found some? No, yeah, I've just found some here. What are these? Four mil. I could do something with some four mil needles, couldn't I, within the next half an hour? So uh, the problem is getting a pattern that I can start to work on. So hey ho. Uh, right, okay. Oh, Robert's just gone. So we've got some music coming up. So shall we have a little listen to some music? Let me um, cue the music. I have no idea what it is today, uh, but let's take a listen and see what we have. Um, and then if Robert pops in, I'll just have to mute him as well. Okay, so here is today. Mornings, first of all. So here we go. So good morning to Anne. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for joining us today and stay with us as well through our little technical issues. You've got me and Robert um, once the system's working properly. Good morning, again. I've just said good morning to Anne. Hi. Good morning, Brigitte. It wasn't your laptop playing up, it was our system playing up, or me. Or I don't know where the two was, but hey ho. Um, good morning to Dawn. Hopefully, you're not working today. It's Saturday. Good morning to Deborah. Sorry, have you done all the good mornings? Oh, that's all right. Good morning, Georgie. And good morning, Jackie. And Jackie, I hope you're not working because I know you've normally got us on in the background. Uh, good morning, Judy, and good morning, Linda, and good morning, Linda, so that's for both of you, and good morning, Louise, and good morning, Tracy, and good morning to Wendy. So, hello, Wendy from Nevergissi, because I always love pronouncing that. It's one of those word, weird place um, names, isn't it, that uh, we never get to say very often. So, hello to everybody. This is Nita Nutter. Um, although we haven't got knitting, <laughs> hopefully you have. I don't have my goggle frost mug because it's in the other room. So when we're all settled, I might go and grab my cuppa. But, uh, and we've had somebody else join, Tracy's joined. Hello. So um, yes, it wasn't your systems. It wasn't your computers. There was a system glitch. It was one of those technical issues that we guarantee with goggle frogs. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Now we will begin. <laughs> <laughs> Mine wasn't technical, mine was just uh, a busy morning at work. Oh, well, I don't know what happened to mine. It won't let me click the button to start the session. So I had to keep logging in to try and do that. Then when I started the session, there was nothing. Then I logged out and logged back in. I thought, well, never mind, there's a session running and there's no one there. <laughs> well, no one there to present to you. So here we go and starting again. So, uh, I got a message from Robert quite early this morning 
saying all the music was cued, everything was done. Um, so I don't know what it is today, but I think it'll be fun. Um, I don't think I can remember. Any of that, but <laughs> should we just play it? It just gives us a couple of minutes to just. <laughs> so here we go. Put yourself on mute. Angela, I will do. And enjoy it. <laughs> Music. My mum really enjoyed it as well. So I was just outside in the other room queuing up my phone so my mum can watch it too. So good morning, mum. <laughs> so lovely to see you too. Um, so yes, you can never tell what's going to happen today, can you? But I've been having a think over the last few days, and that's been about um at the moment I'm knitting with two different balls of wool. And I find it really frustrating and I don't want to have several di different balls. So I've played with little ideas of should I have little jam jars for each of the balls to try and stop them getting knotted up. Um, so I'm really interested to know how you solve that um, problem. I just find it really annoying because every time I turn the work, I've got to try and unwrap the balls. And I think it would be just easier if you had something like jam jars that you could move around. So um, maybe I am, uh, shall we say, being a little bit OCD, which is really unusual for me, uh, but I'm really not enjoying trying to use two different balls of wool because they do get um, frustrated. So let me know your big tips. Um, very, very interested to know that. But Robert, you're back. <laughs> hey, I'm having the worst day ever. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm still loving you. Though. I'm still loving you. That's that's the plus side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, should we catch up on some chat? Yes, please. Uh, so, Deborah says good morning. Brigitte says good morning. Anne says good morning. Dawn says hi. Not seeing anything. Deborah says nor me. Think there must be technical issues. Brigitte says, I'm on my phone as I cannot connect anything to my laptop. Deborah says, Brigitte, how's Rod doing? Judy says, good morning, everybody. Jackie says, morning, I was just saying hi. Uh, then off to another group for AGM at 11. Georgie's this morning, I can't see or hear at the moment. Hope you are okay. Brigitte says, he's home, mostly wrestling. Thank you for asking. Deborah says, Judy, good morning, and good morning to everybody else as well. Jackie says, Brigitte, glad to hear Rod is at home and resting. Anne says, technical issues posted on Facebook. Dawn says, Brigitte, wishing Rod the best for a speedy recovery. Deborah says, Brigitte, good to hear lots of TLC from you, I'm sure. Um, and thanks, we'll have to we have silent, we'll have to have a silent knitter matter. <laughs> Anne says, that's different. Brigitte says, yes, he'll have to go back for further assessment before they can decide on a way to operate. Georgie says, I'm really glad to hear Rod is home. Wendy says, hello, everybody. Dawn says, hello, good to see you both. Wendy says, I can see you both. Georgie says, I have two gorgeous people on my screen. Uh, Deborah says, hi, Angela and Robert. Judy says, uh, thanks for the update on Rod. Uh, I've been thinking of you both, take care. Wendy says, thank you, Robert, for being my go-between. You are more than welcome. Um, something came up yesterday, so I'm being go between between Wendy and some other people. Uh, Brigitte says, I have to sign out as Rod has got me on his tablet. Linda says, morning all. Dawn says, and Angela, and relax. Linda says, good to see you both. Hopefully your day will get better. Tracy says, I'm at the football, but currently have no signal. Linda says, I'm able to join today. Got a day off. Hooray. Yay. Enjoy. Robert says, and Angela, well, you and Robert often say there will be technical issues. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, Brigitte says, I'm on Rod's tablet now. I couldn't connect anything to my laptop. Dawn says she's ironing and catching up on jobs. Was on holiday, but job turned up, so couldn't really turn it away. Or to have workmen in finishing off stuff. So the house is a tip. Also, frogging my short. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, hopefully really not too much. Uh, Linda says she's driving around the sewing room on her own. Uh, Jackie says got to go uh, to um, another group. See you on Monday. Bye, Jackie. 
George says that was lovely. Dawn says, well, that made the ironing go quicker. And Brigitte says, Richie Cunningham in 1962, I just started fourth year at grammar school in Germany. Uh, Tracy says, I feel your pain, Angela, and have never found a solution. What's, what, I, what pain is that? I said, um, knitting the two balls of wool, I'm finding it very frustrating because every time you turn your work, you have to switch the balls around. So I, the only sort of solution I can come up with is two separate um, um, jam jars to stick them in, which isn't perfect because then they don't move properly. So it was just, I was just asking if other people had another solution, and I don't think there is one out there. It's just really annoying. Um, it's really annoying. So I'm going to get my thinking caps up, cap on to think there must be a better way. So Robert, off air we will say this is a problem in the knitting world can we fix it uh yes we can check emails after that thing from tuesday but but i, I i'm just really i hate it i hate knitting with two three or four balls of wool. i absolutely hate it because of how it all gets mixed up on the floor um and other than looking like a conjurer it it I just don't like it. So um, yeah, there must there must be a simpler way for all the puzzle So that's it. Louise, she has just joined. Good morning, Louise. Hello. Ah, wow. So I best get me knitting out now. In while the music was in, I threw, flew into the other room. I threw the other room into the other room. Picked stuff up. Got my phone. Logged me mum on, on my phone, threw my stuff in here and my bag's over there, so I'm just going to bob down and get it. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <sighs> there we go. Was that a hot cup of tea you've just finished? Yes. <laughs> and it barely touched the sides. Really? May have to go and make another one in a minute. Um, Right, so uh, for those of you who are um, joining us for the first time, welcome to Google Dead. For those of you watching on replay, hello, uh, enjoy the replay. And for those of you watching on YouTube at some point in the future, uh, sorry for the messy beginning. <laughs> but we are here. That's uh, live, and isn't we it? We do this four days a week. We do Monday, Tuesday, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening um at eight o'clock and um, the eight o'clock one um goes on until we feel there is no more to talk about uh and as we're drinking we tend to have lots and lots to talk about and we have a few laughs along the way as well well that's what we hope um we have a facebook page so uh, do log on and share your uh, look for goggle fox and matter um do share your work if you're already in the group um and we'll go through that very shortly as well Oh, Angela, how have your few days off been? Uh, very nice, thank you. We've uh, we've had a lovely time in the um, in Pets Garden. What is it? Pets Farm Shop. So we've we've sampled lots of things from there. Uh, we had a nice dinner last night, so we haven't done a right lot, but we've had a really really lovely few days. Thank you. Yeah. How about you? You had the day off yesterday, but I don't think it was much of a day off. Um, no, it was okay. So I did, some, did, did an unconventional meeting in the morning with the feds and Oxford branches, which was really nice. Good to see some people I haven't seen for a while. Oh, um, then posted Lindy's mug, so I hope we should get that today. Uh, And I did go and do a food shop. Did you? Um, I did, yeah. For those of you who don't know, I hate food shopping. It just does my head in. And normally I leave it for Gary, but I want Gary to have a nice relaxing weekend this weekend. Um, and then, what did I do in the afternoon? Uh, I did some secret project work. Oh, did you? Hmm. I did. Uh, and washing. Um, ironing, and that's about it in my day, really. And I can't do any of this because I've left me cutting in the other room. <laughs> I 
So Tracy's saying, what about joining two balls together and using the one ball or is it for a pattern? Uh, they're two separate. Yeah, they're, uh, they're two separate balls. Um, for this. So because you, you can put them together. So two separate balls. Come on. Linda says when she's knitting in Tarsia, using lots of different colours, but only for a short amount of time, she just pulls out a length of yarn between the bullet through if it gets tangled, but this doesn't mean lots of them. Two balls of yarn in theory, if you turn the work one way and then the next, this should stop it getting tangled. Yeah, because it's, it's a continuous work, so I'm going to have to leave it on there. But never mind. Um, Deborah says, no magic tricks, but when I'm doing fair eye or oil, with have two colours, put one ball to the left and one ball to the right of me, seems to work okay, because it's very easy to get the colours twisted. I'm, I'm going to see if a um, if we can sort out the twittering bird. Uh, Georgie hates food shopping too, I'm glad I'm not the only one, and I know I'm now working through retail, but I still hate shopping for food. Um, and Brigitte says, I delivered her a perfect mug as well. Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, and it seems to be a twittering bird. I think that's a technical issue. So I think Angela has gone to find a bird that isn't actually there. Or maybe she's gone to get her mic pack to use that instead. Uh, Tracy says, starting to think we should rename this to Giggle and Goggle Frogs. You are hilarious. <laughs> or Goggle Frogs with Giggles. Quite like that one. Mm. Uh, welcome back. You've missed loads. We've changed our name. What? We've changed our name. What? We're now Goggle Frogs with Giggles. Goggle Frogs what? With Giggles. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know if I can use this because I might not be able to hear you, but one of them works without it. So <sighs> let's have a go. Uh, right, I'm going to try and load the Facebook page in the background. Has that got rid of the bird? Seems to have done. Has it? If not, it may, it may be, have you got earphones in, Robert? I haven't, no, I couldn't get them connected. It might just be that side. So let's, let's see what happens. Um, <sighs> I can start to relax now. I've got my pattern. Is it a decent? Uh, right. Uh, sorry, folks. I just want to make sure I get the right page. Right. Here we go. So Deborah says, here's a picture of my fair eye right now for Angela. You can see my ascent colour on the left and main colour on the right. Oh, Does that help you? You see, I, I do a lot I do a lot of mine where I'm I'm sitting on a settee, so I could do it sort of similar. So thank you. Uh, and then Tracy says, work in progress. I've done an Angela actually two different patterns. I just didn't like the way the yarn looked. But now I think I found the correct, correct pattern. What's your view? It's my goggle frog yarn. I think that is beautiful. I love that. What? That's, that's frog goo goo, isn't it? Yeah. Or is that the interlude? 
it's frog no, no, that's the interlude. Is it? I'm sure there's five colours in that one. Let us know which one it is. Um, is that a work day or is that the other one that Dawn's doing as well? I think that's the one that Dawn's doing. Is it? Oh, what size nice um, needles do I need? Let me know. <laughs> Dawn says, show it off Saturday. Katie's kept Shetland all week hat coming on nicely, trying to get it finished for Tuesday. We are traveling to Suffolk for our first trip away in our camper van since March. Oh, wow. That's, I like that. That's lovely. Beautiful. That's so intricate. Um, I love it. Marion says, waking up issues. Poncho is finished. We'll be so later. Thank you. So I'm going to uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the finished pom show soon. So thank you so much, Marion. I know you're you're in the picture house this morning, uh, but thank you so 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 much for that. It's brilliant. I don't think she is. I think she's at home. I don't think she made it to the picture house. I just, That's what I'm interpreting that anyway. Oh. I think I play. And it's um, AGM at eleven, so she'll probably be at home oh, at the right. AGM. Yeah. So thank you so much. Uh, Linda Phillips has posted going to be one of these jumpers tonight. My nine-year-old grandchild and my five-year-old daughter has gone off east. Oh well. <laughs> I'm guessing that means you're knitting them now. <laughs> um, Fran, uh, I saved this for finished Friday. Uh, it was finished on Wednesday evening. And then I wasn't around to post it. Sorry. Baby blanket instead of quick and pattern soft touch measures. Uh, and then she put measurements on there. That looks lovely. It does. Absolutely. I love the structure. Um, Don has posted show it off Saturday cotton face flannel designing it himself. Oh, wow. oh I'm so clever. excited that somebody in the group is doing a. a a face cloth flannel, whatever you want to call it. That's amazing. Um, because it's something that I've never ever done. Um, but I do like I do really want to see what people finish as those, and I might make some one year. Uh Deborah has posted, whoops, I just had to buy the yarn pack for Attic 24's latest blanket was in the night, so did some yarn shopping. Uh wow. That looks really nice, actually. Can you click on it? Because I can't really see it. Um, if I click on it, it's going to take me into the link, though. Oh, is it? I will. I've, I've clicked on it. I'll come back. I'll come back at the end and reshare it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this shawlet finished and put away for cooler days. Oh wow, that looks lovely. It does doesn't it? Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Brigitte, first tea in my perfect special mood delivered yesterday by MDD. Uh, Anastasia posted a uh, shot of Saturday little trinket box, free pattern courtesy of Easy Birds. That looks lovely. Love the colours in it. Um, Deborah has shared a link, something to do with Shetland War Week. War Week. Oh, that's the pattern for the, the hat that she's doing. Oh, uh, and then yes, sorry, we're going to just go straight through this. Um, some more male crochet patterns and lots of no's. Um, Dawn, last year I sent my mother-in-law a photo of a ship someone had made out of lace. She showed it to her friend in her lace making class who loved it. So her friend went home and made one for herself. She also made the ship and she does wood turning when she isn't lace making. This is fabulous. I love the bow spirit on the front. Um, it's lace bobbins. Not quite sure what that means, but that looks lovely. I really like that. So clever. It is beautiful. Um, Sorry, I was just reading something in the chat. Um, it's absolutely stunning, and I don't know how people make lace. I really don't, but it is it is amazing. Georgie has shared a lovely shawl pattern from Donna Dana Knits, uh, and that's free. Uh, and then I have posted uh, an event 
Network, we are hosting the next event on Wednesday the 30th of September, and it's called Something Old, Something New, Something Borrowed, and Something Blue. And I have tagged a picture of a knitted wedding cake. Ooh. Actually, it's not a knitted wedding cake, it's a wedding cake, a proper wedding cake that's been made to look like it's knitted. So the, I just love the detail on that cake, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, and then I think we're kind of caught up. Yeah, I'm going to take that as caught up. Ah. So let me let me stop sharing that, and then I will share the Attic Twenty Four pattern uh, blanket so we can see it better. It's always nice to see things, isn't it? Um. Mm. There we go. Oh wow. That is good. Very colourful. They're not normally that bold and strong, are they? That is, that is lovely, more really strong blues. Love that. <sighs> That's going to look lovely when it's done. It will. I'm going to try and do a, a little row. There we go. Right. Uh, let's. Uh, Review says I can't see the screen and chat box at the same time on the tablet, so typing is frustrating, so slow. I do know what you mean. When I have to join and I'm just on my phone, it is a bit difficult. Um, Trisha says just joining before the AGM. Hello, all. Hi, Trisha. Uh, Linda says, yes, starting the jumpers now. Oh, uh, very jealous. Very, very jealous. I will get my own Ron Weasley jumper at some point. I now have a book, thanks to Georgie. Um, but I need to finish my other one before I start that one. <laughs> and it's also a good idea which I've never done before. So, yeah. Uh, Brigitte says, she is frogging. Oh, no. Um, Deborah says, oh, dear, to Brigitte. Uh, Tracy says you can get the pattern off the website and use your own stash up. I put it on my to-do list along with a hundred other things. <laughs> it's a blanket. Are you all right? What? Me? You? Are you right? Yeah, yeah. just gone quiet. I, I, I just... It's one of those rows that's a bit complicated. Oh, <laughs> I put it over the top of the chat just so that I could try and like read it. <laughs> it's uh, cause some, of, some of them are really quite straightforward, and then other rows are a little bit more complicated. So I was really lucky on the last one. It was only knit four, knit to get the two together, yarn over, and knit five. That was really easy, but this is a knit three, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip one, knit one, pass, slip, stitch, and other knit three. So if you can imagine that while talking and everything else, it takes me a little bit longer. Then, then just stop, don't do it because <laughs> you're only going to frog it anyway. No, no, do you know what? I feel less frogging in this touch wood than I have in most things, and it's like um, mm. a proper pattern. Well, I call it a proper pattern because there's holes in it, intended holes. Um, so, yeah. That's unheard of for you, isn't it? I know. I know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But a certain a certain little goggle frog spit of wool over there is really calling me. But I know I've got to finish this first before I can go on something else. And I do have other projects on the go as well. So, But I, I, I do want to get something made up in goggle frog stuff. Um, and, and some of those patterns are so easy that you can just sit there on a night time, can't you, and, and knit way into the morning. So I think that might be one of those sort of projects that I do. Oh. <sighs> so what time do you finish today, Robert? Four. Ish. Four. Okay. Okay. It's, it's um, busy, so it depends on... What happens here um yeah. but normally Saturday morning is busy and then the afternoon is quieter so i'm hoping fingers crossed touch wood that four is the aim yeah 
So we'll see. What have you got planned for the rest of the day? Uh, well, I've got a, a look. I've got an order to deliver, and then what else have I got? Order to deliver, and then uh, I've got to get. I've got to get some vegetables, so I'll probably pop to the market and get a couple of. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's a right lot planned, but there's, there's oh, there's lost Robert. Uh, not a right lot planned, but a nice chill day. Uh, my mum watched a really nice film yesterday afternoon, apparently. So we'll see if we can find another nice film for her, which would be nice. So um, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, but I think at the moment I want to try and get this finished at some point, but I don't know when that will be. Um, and then I can get on some gobble frogs wool, which is always. I uh, think I think you should stop that and just start your gobble frogs because you're itching to do it. <laughs> I know, I know. But to be honest, I don't know how how much longer I've got for this. Um, I think, do you know what? This is probably a bit of a project because once you've finished it all, you then have to do a, like an edging all the way around. And I know we've had a conversation about you don't necessarily need to edge it, but I will edge it with something. So it is probably going to be a bit of a project. So I might need to download that little pattern that Chris is working on and that John's been working on. But it does look quite nice. I think it will be nice in the goggle frog stuff. Um, yeah. I think if we had to vote, my vote would be you stop what you're doing and just move straight to the goggle frogs to just get it done and out the way. And then you can pick that back up off. Uh, Tracy says um, the Radlet fruit have a pop up market in the Queen's pub car park until one today. It's lovely and fresh in the pub. The what pub? Radlet fruit. Radlet fruit. In the Queen's. Oh! Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. I'm going to take a little detour um, on the way to the bus because I've heard about this place, but I've never got there. So me and my mum will be hurtling out there straight after this to, to get some fruit. I think that's what we'll do. So that will be fun. Or do yeah. I do the order first? No, I, I'll, I think I'll drop the order off first and then we'll shoot back up there. That would be lovely. Thank you. There's this um, there's an amazing store that people have. Um, up and wing so i'm going to sample that today which should be fabulous um do you mean the goggle that you've got huh? do you mean the goggle frogs order that you've got yeah so go to wing first and then come back into the buzz rather than go the buzz wing the buzz yeah i was it's just that um it might be easy to deliver it I'll, I'll get, I'll get it done. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. okay so we're going to get um, some fruit because uh, we don't have much and I've got some, you know what, I went shopping. Um, I've told you about this place before. It, I think it's a Turkish supermarket or a Greek supermarket in Hemel. It's amazing. And I um, I still have some buffalo yogurt that is really sour because I like really sour yogurt. I don't like stuff. But I need fruit to go with that because I've run out of things like raspberries and blueberries. So um oh and i need some lime so i can make a nice blueberry cake with lots of lime drizzle on top because i think it's a bit of weather for blueberry and lime drizzle so i'll be doing that later today <laughs> louise says she cast on the post to your shawl yesterday with the gobble frogs interlude yarn we'll post a picture when it's grown in a bit wow amazing can't wait to see that oh it's the close to you that i'm thinking of doing as well isn't it I think so. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will make a note of that. Tracy, could you just tell me was that the interlude that you were using, or is that Frogger Goo Goo? Just so that we know what the colour looks like, because it, it looks beautiful knitted up. It really, really does, and I think that's the interlude. Um, Brigitte says, uh, Trisha, she doesn't think she'll be able to be the convention as her laptop is playing up the connection. Uh, and Trisha says she thinks the world and his wife are online this morning. 
Lopez is a little bit unstable too, but we'll give it a go shortly. Yeah, that might explain a lot, actually. Although I'm on 4G, which doesn't normally cause me any problems, but you keep saying I'm dropping in and out as well. And and I do not have a normal internet. Mine is a repeater system, but I, I, I don't know whether it was Demio at the beginning or whether it's my internet. So so maybe there's just um, something going on behind the scenes today that we don't know about. Let's go for this week. We've had an earthquake. It could be anything that's happening today, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, Tracy can't remember which one it is. She'll check and post later. That's fine. Thank you. Does it help if it had a shimmer in it? Not really, because they both had a shimmer, didn't they? They did. They did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm convinced that it's the interlude. Oh, hang on, I've got pictures on my phone. And I think it was the other one. So it could be the, the light and the shade. Um, because interlude is darker than proper Google. Oh, so Linda says, I'm going to have to go too. I'm having my own technical issues. As my tablet keeps switching itself off, this is the first time of joining. Have a good weekend, everyone. Have a good weekend, too. And I think there are friends somewhere in our whole world today. I've got to. 4G. With my repeat system, standard broadband, and electrics in the world. I wonder if it's Demio. Huh? I wonder if it's Demio. I don't know. Actually, now that you're on, I will I will find on the message. Uh, I think it might be Frogger Goo Goo. That's all was. I didn't take a picture of frog laid out, but um, I, I think it's frog a goo goo. Yeah, because there's not as much dark in it. So I, I think it's frog a goo goo, not yeah. exclude. So that'd be interesting to comparison between the two. Um, Brigitte says she doesn't need any more le we weeks like this one. No, I'm not surprised. Um, Linda says, I'm off to the AGM, so need to get a drink, etc. Thanks, both. See you next week. Bye, Linda. Enjoy the AGM. Um, I think we're about to lose a lot of people to the AGM as well, yeah. Angela. It's all right. Um, Anne's going. Bye, 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 bye. Not everyone's going, so that's fine. Um... So, just a reminder, folks, um, we are back on Monday, and I say we, I'm not. Uh, I'm not back until Friday, I think. Friday, but we'll be back. Wednesday, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, project Wednesday night. Well, I... I don't know why. Wednesday, uh, and then... Yeah, Wednesday's my day off, so I think I'm only here Wednesday and Saturday next week. Okay. Well, I think that um, Marion is joining us on Monday, and I think we will have something to see in terms of the finished fjord. Uh, that beautiful poncho that looks stunning. I can't wait to see it. Um, so hopefully we'll be doing that on Monday. Uh, eagerly. I can't believe when did you give her that wool? Who? Tracy? No, Ooh. Marion. Oh. The field. Uh, the day after the event, didn't we? Yeah, the day after our last event. So how long's that been? Just over a week? Uh, or is it two weeks? Two, I think. Yeah, because it was my first week here. So one, two weeks and two days. So it's two weeks and a day. Marion very, very, very kindly um, said that she would help us and knit something up for us. And she says, I think it'll take three weeks this is marion she said she thinks it'll take three weeks always 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 delivers in two weeks it's unbelievable how quick she can knit marion was saying it wasn't the most exciting knit but i enjoy those things when you're sat in front of the television so you can 
watch something or if you're listening to a book and suddenly you've done about 10 rows and you think, am I okay? And if it's a standard pattern, you're fine, aren't you? Um, but, but I can't wait to feel that wool because it is like silk, it's lovely. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. But yeah, she's just done a poncho in two weeks. I've got, I've got gloves that have been there for a year that I've started, not finished. And she's done a poncho in two weeks. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. My jumper is four years old. I've got in January, uh, so I won't. Uh, Dawn's had to go. She's got issues with the new desk that's been delivered. Oh, no. It says, have a good weekend. Oh, sorry, Dawn. I hope you get it sorted out. Yeah. Uh, Tracy says she's going to go well because she's put off watching a football match long enough. <laughs> uh, I think it's Bye, folks. See you Monday. Fingers crossed. Bye, buddy. I'm sure we will. Oh. So, are you having um, lunch now? No. No, so I'm doing the split. So I came, I was supposed to be 7 4 today. So I came in at 6 to take an hour to do this. Right. And then around 12 o'clock, I will have lunch. Oh, wow. And then. That's so nice, isn't four. it? Really, really supportive company. Well, I, I, should, I should have been on a late. So, uh, and then there was a problem with the, my future rotor. And I said, look, I'm not doing that. And they went, okay, well, we'll fix it by doing this instead. So then I said, well, that means I've got to do a split. But it's fine. It's sorted. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. I, st I still think it's very nice. There's a lot of companies would just say a huge, no, when you're on our time, that's it. So it's, it's really nice that they work with you around this, which is brilliant. Um, and then but it was just at six because that's when the problem started this morning. So, and had I waited till seven, or had they waited till seven, some of it wouldn't have been fixed in time. So, there we go. Oh, and Brigitte has just said, in case it drops out again, thank you for this morning session. Yeah, I have put a message through to Demio to see if it's them. Um, I really don't know, but the fact that we've got laptops switching off and stuff, who, who knows what it is today? We haven't even been the TV on. The, our televisions may blow, blow up later. Who knows? It's a strange thing. Uh, Wendy's going as well. Bye bye, Wendy. Lovely to see you. Uh, Angela, you're logged in twice. Is mum watching? Yeah, my mum's watching. Oh, morning, Jean. <laughs> she just said morning. Yeah, as I came flying through, I logged at my phone on so my mum could watch us in, in the in the living room as well. So and then straight after this, I need to put the television on for my mum, make us a cup of tea, and then we need to get off and get um some veggies and things like that. Some nice veggies. Okay. Yeah. So although I've got well, loads and loads of come and say hello, maybe if you do come near, don't come in especially. What? I said if you come in today, come and say hello, but don't come in especially to say hello. I'm sure. As I only saw you. <laughs> but I know. It's free to welcome, come in and say yeah, hello. Yeah, I know. We, we probably will. We'll probably put in. So. Okay. Right, it's it's two minutes to, so should we stop? Because there's only three or four people left now. Well, we can do, and that gives you a little bit of time. It gives you two to three minutes to get back to work as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Great. So um, thank you so much today for all of your support around the... Um... <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Corporal Frogger. Yeah, yeah. But that, this just happens, doesn't it? It just goes to show that um, we're here for each other. Uh, but it was rather interesting at the beginning. <laughs> So, uh, put lots of pictures on over the weekend, and we will see you again on Monday. Bye, bye. bye everyone. Bye.